Oh, praise God. I've got some powerful, powerful comforting words for you tonight. I'm telling you, this will comfort you if you've lost a loved one. This will comfort you and give you peace about what your future holds. And I'm thankful that God shows us this in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 through 18. He says, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brother, concerning them which are asleep. In other words, those who've gone on to be with the Lord. He says, For you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. I'm thankful we have hope in Christ Jesus. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even then with sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain shall be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And it says, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And then he tells us, wherefore comfort you, comfort you with these words. Those are some pretty comforting words right there. I'm telling you, this used to be a mystery to me. I did not understand it. And he tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 51 through there, he says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, the trumpet shall sound, the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. He said, for this corruption must put on incorruptible, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then will be brought to pass the saying that death is swallowed up in victory. And then he says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, but the strength is sin of the law. But thanks be unto God who give us the victory. Hallelujah. And that's why he tells us, be steadfast unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord, for you know your labor in the Lord is not in vain. I'm telling you, God loves us, and He wants to comfort us. He's shown us the way. And John chapter 14, verse 1, words of comfort about going on to be with the Lord and the way to salvation. He says in chapter 14 of John, verse 1, he said, Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. And he says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive you unto myself, that where I am ye may be also. Thomas didn't understand that. So Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where they are going. How do we know the way? And Jesus nails it all down right here and settles it all. In verse 6, John chapter 14, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. I'm here to tell you, if you're trying to go any other way than Jesus Christ, you're not going to make it to heaven. He's the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only one. I sure hope you put your trust and your faith in him. Praise the Lord for the comfort and the hope that we have in Jesus.